Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I want to focus in on a class competition that I have my students doing with their EV3s. It is called the Warbot. I love this because my students just get so excited. I actually had a student say they liked it more than Sumo. I was blown away like, are you kidding me? So today what I want to do is introduce this competition to you, give you our guidelines for it, and then definitely show you some video of students engaging in Warbot, okay? So if you want to see that, stay with me. He now Lego Robotics. Oh yeah. Okay, so competitions are fun. Those of you that teach robotics, that's what I like to do. I like to mix in projects, competitions, um, things like Cargo Connect, where you know they get to show off their skills, their programming and problem solving skills. But competitions are so fun because the students, they get so much more excited about competitions because they're able to say, yeah, we get to go up against them. And it just brings a, a energy and excitement I can't even explain. So today it's about Warbot. It's going to be a really an amazing competition. I'm going to take you to the FLL table to show you how that's going to work. And again, show you some video that I took of my students engaging in Warbot. So let's go to the table. Okay, so I have a first LEGO League table here. I was surprised and blessed enough to have this piece of wood. My wife actually had this. She wanted to put all of her pens and pencils in here. She had like an art table and she didn't want it anymore. She's like, can you use this? I'm like, wait a second. Yes, I can. So I did a little bit of cutting on one of the edges there. And so this is what I use for it's a nice Warbot supply holder, and it also, when I flip it over, it's going to be the divider for the Warbot competition. So let me go ahead and get things set up. Okay, so basically this is how Warbot happens. We make the magic happen here on this table here. So each team will have four of these pillars. Um, I usually will have it marked off with painter's tape so they know where to put the pillars. You can have the students decide. I just don't let them decide where they're going to put their pillars because sometimes they'll put it right here. And I'm like, no, we're not going to put it in the corner where it's really hard to hit. And so what the goal of the Warbot game or competition here is each team, uh, a robot that will go over. There's all these wiffle balls that each team will just split up and they'll have with them over here. And their robot is just going to travel up to here, toss the wiffle ball over, and they're gonna to try to knock over each other's pillars. And the team that knocks over the other team's pillars first is the one that's gonna win. So we do four. If my teams are pressing for time, like you know, the grade's gonna go in this Friday, I have them drop it down to three. And it's just a really fun, you know, competition because it's something they can just, you know, design. They can make up their own the way they want the robot to toss the ball over. And it's a real neat way for them to compete. And it's low risk. You know, they have fun just trying to knock them over. Obviously, there's teams that are better aimers than others. But it's just a low risk, very fun game for them to participate in. Let's go to the video of what this looks like in my class. Okay, so this Warbot has a two-ball capacity.
So there is Warbot. Please feel free to modify this however you want. Um, I had my students that were trying to get through Warbot, you know, for their grade. I had them do two teams against two teams. They thought that was pretty fun. Um, it can get a little crazy on that board, but feel, feel free to modify this. Um, you know, if you want to use something different than wiffle balls, be, you know, I don't care. It's not, I, I am not claiming this as my game. I just one day decided that, that looks like a fun thing to try out. So, okay guys, give that a shot. Let me know in the comment section if you played this with your class, what you thought about it, what some things I can consider modifying. Cause I'm always looking to make things better. And you know, if I can get your guys' input, that would be awesome. Okay guys, I am Mr. Hino from Missiles Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys, take care.